Supreme Court Justice nominee Elena Kagan will meet today with the very people who will decide her fate. Now we must determine whether someone who is a member of the president's administration will be an independent and impartial jurist on the nation's highest court. Senators from both parties will get to grill the former dean on everything from her background to her qualifications. I think you're going to hear Republican senators try to make an effort to tease out what her personal beliefs are on a wide range of uh, hot button social issues. Issues like gay rights. While dean at Harvard Law School, Kagan barred military recruiters from campus. She objected to the Pentagon's don't ask, don't tell policy, which bans gays and lesbians from serving openly. Lawmakers are also interested in Kagan's work as a White House advisor to former President Bill Clinton. In 1997, she urged him to support a ban on late-term abortion, angering abortion rights groups. GOP leaders are especially eager to get their hands on documents Kagan worked on during the Clinton administration. Since she's never served as a judge and doesn't have the typical trail of court opinions, the papers may offer more clues into her legal mind. It's my anticipation that the committee and individual senators will seek uh, documents from her work uh, via the Clinton Library. Republicans aren't expected to block the nomination during confirmation hearings this summer. Still, they plan to thoroughly scrutinize Kagan before appointing her to a position for life. Tara Mergener for CBS News, Washington.